Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I'm going to show you uh, three Forex pair that have been really hot uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, I want to show you a few things. Uh, the pairs are, and this is using a Wanda data, and you're looking at Motive Wave uh, 5.x. We'll just leave it at that. Um, so we have Euro, Australian dollar, US, Swiss franc, and then the pound, British pound against the Swiss franc. So first I want to show you hourly moves, okay? You can see here um, that this is fairly a little smoother as if I was to go a little more intraday, um, let's say with a 15 minute chart um, it, you can see the, vo the volatility in that right there. Uh, the trends are just not there compared to an hourly move. Um, break it down to the five minute, you can just see how volatile um, these price action lines are. Also, I could even go down to even worse at the one minute this is very hard to trade in to automate trades with just because of you could see we have these sudden moves up a down move and then up and down it, it just I I'm gonna be honest let me just see if we're at the most recent yeah so this is the most recent right now according to the prices of what we have on uh, one minute data so I'll, 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 I'll just take, keep it to the most recent. Five minute data. You see how, the, how volatile it is. 10 minute is not so bad. 15 minute, you just don't see any form of trend there. Uh, and then we go up to the one hour. So again, we are seeing, um, I don't know, I just like these one hour moves. And uh, I'm going to show you another chart here. I'll do the same. I'm just trying to show you how better it is on certain um, certain uh, time frames. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're doing it for machine learning, quant, technical analysis, whatever. But I'm just trying to show you the volatility in these different time frames. And I'll show you one more. It's very hard to distinguish trend here. Here, this one's not too bad. The pound on the hourly is a little, I can't say if it's better. It's hard to say. So, but there is definitely a lot more uh, volatility here. On the five minute chart, you could probably definitely see a trend here since what, September 17th, all the way up to here on the, uh, well, this run, all the way up to about here. So um, if we look at the one minute, it's just, it's really tough to try to figure out stuff. But these are the moving um, coin uh, pairs, Forex pairs, uh, right now over the last number of weeks. So let me go back to uh, this one right here. Go to the hourly move. Or actually, let me go to this one. Okay, so what you're looking at is um, the retracement values. Okay, uh, right here along this side here, 32 percent, 23.6 percent, 6.18 percent. I'm gonna go over to uh, the browser here and show you a couple things. Hopefully, I can find it. First off, I think it's really important to um, recognize that there's something called the perfect moving day average for day trades. They can use this in combination with Fibonacci levels uh, on top of uh, the, 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 the parameters are three different moving averages, simple moving average, 5, 8, and 13. It kind of explains on the long side uh, for short and long. And one of the things I do like about this is the ability to uh, use these averages to um, avoid whipsaws because that's been pretty well the difficult part of the whole 
shebang here. So I want to show you some trends here. Now again, I'm using hourly data. And right now what my strategy is programmed to do is to look for these fast moving uh, trends up. And uh, you can see here at this time, this big dip was when Crazy Draghi decides to introduce an open-ended bond buying program where it just killed off the price for a while, but it did recover here on the 12th because today for those on the podcast, it's always September 17th. So we are including this dip, but it did recover. So when you look at this uh, average, Here's a good run up here to about here, here to here. So here's the um, parameters that we have. We have red, which is the three, SMA, uh, kind of orange, and blue at um, 13. So if I can recall here, I'm going to, here we go. This is what I want to show. So if we go back and agree that uh, maybe um, hourly is a good time frame to use, because if you follow my course here, uh, of course, plug in this. That's what we do. Uh, Quantlabs.net slash Python. You'll be able to figure out how to build stuff like this in Python uh, with the TA lib technical um analysis library but here we're just doing this for visualization with a motive wave a motive wave I really like because um, you can do this um, very in a very sophisticated way so essentially what we're looking for are the crosses right here to about here so this will tell me this is an opportunity to trade as long as we have the order of the three 8 and 13 of where the thir 3, uh, the 8 and the 13 are in that order. Once they start to consolidate right here across, then we know um, we have a, um, a, uh, a consolidation period. But when they start to go back in that order, we can then safe to say it is uh, time to dump the trade sort of like scalping okay because you can see that right along through here 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 we don't have that order I mentioned again that order you want is red which is the three second up you want in the order of uh, eight and the next order of 13 so if you look at here this is the time to get in and just about now, in the next probably few hours, if this continues to consolidate, to get out, okay? And then you can look at um, your, your um, averages as well, which I traditionally would say, always look at the 618 as your um, entry or to trade between here, the 618, and the 382 is a trading zone. That's your entry point. So, let me see here if I can maybe move this along here. Now again, always remember that these retracements need to be um, redrawn. So if I was to say on an hourly chart so we're looking at uh, in this time frame around the 12th when this big dip came along. So let's 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 play with this because you can get a, a really smart way to automate your your trades for the entry and exit on a historical level. This is a good example here, even though for call it visual back testing, this is a sudden drop and it did recover. But let's. Um, draw these out now so here um, we can do our low point which I'm going to say it's about here and then we have our uh, high point maybe yeah I'd say about here 
So again, our golden zone for entries in and around here. So if we continue to continue with the logic of using 618 as the entry, just to make sure that our entry, now this is just for entry signals only. Okay, so if we know our entry signal is here at 618, uh, even though this does cross, we could, but you, you could tell right here at this dotted line parallel to the 618 level, this is kind of a good entry because if we use this combo of the 618 uh, Fibonacci level on top of our, our, our move, combo of mo simple moving averages of the 5, 8, 13, it's in that order, as you can tell. Um, the 3 in red, uh, where, where that hand is. The red uh, SMA of uh, three, uh, followed by orange, and then which is the eight, and then the SMA thirteen is that. So that that's a good entry, and um, I would say once you see uh, the averages start to break down in that order, where it's no longer maintaining the five, three, and eight order. Uh, it's time to get out um, as a test. So here we're avoiding a lot of this negative uh, whipsaw stuff. Um, so this this is something I'm quite interested in. So here we're still above our 618 level. If we follow along here. Uh, oh no, this is the original uh, 618. Let me just do a retrace. See if I can get rid of that. So what we're dealing with here, um, let's see if I can get rid of this. Okay. So you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Let me just see if I can see if there's any other entry opportunities here. This one. So that's the three, orange. So about here, um, let me do a retrace. So we have red, orange, blue. So we need to have that order. Uh, okay, so let me just see here. So we have right here is what I'm gonna say is a potential entry point. So if I also, Add in the, the Fibonacci retrace. So we are dealing with a high point about here. Don't include the wicks when you're doing these. To about here. So let's see how we do here. So here is. Let me draw a uh, a line here, horizontal line. So we are dealing with this right here, all the way out to where's my six one eight. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. So here's our six one eight level. So we got red, blue. So this right here. Is our, our, our potential entry, or would it be here? It would be, because we're maintaining red, orange, blue. That's the order we want. So even here would be an entry, or would it be? No, it wouldn't be. Oh, I guess technically from a programming standpoint it would be, but really our entry would be here, red. So let me just see here. So if we follow this logic, so we would be looking at right here, uh, just below the Fibonacci level. So that 
entry would be right about here. Because we have uh, red, orange, blue in that order, which is again slightly below the 618. But then if we move up the line to 618 here as an entry, I guess the entry would be right about here. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know if the um, the Fibonacci is useful in this scenario. Let me just see some other scenarios here on an hourly time frame. But let me just see here. So we're going all the way back to August. See here, August 20th, this would be a good one. Just see. See right here. So this would have happened August 1st. So you got red orange, blue as our example. Here's another one right here. Red, orange, blue. Okay. But once they start to cross, red, that's a good entry actually. Red, blue, Sorry, red, orange, blue. Again, that is in the order of the 3, 8, 13. Sorry, 5, yeah, 3, 8, 13. So we have here, uh, here. So these cross. So red, orange, blue. So when you have, when everything starts to break down, that's when... Um, the 13 would be the highest, it will, it'll, the, the order will, will reverse. So again, 3, 8, 13. So here, let me just see here. So about right here, red, orange, blue, but it doesn't consolidate to here. But what you could do, it looks like you could let me just see here. So you use an entry of the 3, 8, 13 in that order. And uh, as an exit, there's a number of ways to do it. Because if you use where they cross, you lose profit here. Is it better just to, well, I've done this game before where you just run up where the 3, the SMA 3, and once it starts to um, turn, go negative against the maximum that it's been at, that's a potential exit. Let me just see here. See, this, this, this does take care of potential whipsaws because you can see quite clearly here the 13, the, th uh, the 13 here, uh, the order is still not uh, correct, what you want. Here we have that order, red, orange, blue. And we are seeing as soon as the SMA3 starts to decline, that is most likely a good exit. So we got here, or the, so right, I think right here. Yeah. So we have red, orange, blue, I think the uh, would be about here, and you can see it comes back to that discussion of when that big wick comes, the this lower wick, that's your reversal, and you can see right here that red does go back to negative. These big moves here, red, orange, blue. We have an exit here. And I guess you could do another entry. Uh, let me see here. 
Yeah, see the red starts to break off on this next bar up where it does trend back into the red, orange, blue. Okay. This looks pretty good to go with. I just read about this uh, here at the Investopedia. Um, right here. Um, let me just uh, give you the headline of the article that I'm using this off of. Again, the article is at investopedia.com. Uh, the perfect moving averages for day trading. Okay, so we, we, we know that. All right, so um, let me just take a look at some of the other hot pairs. It seems to work for Euro, Australia. So we have here again on the 12th, red, orange, blue. Don't know what this is. Hmm. Okay. But we got red, orange, blue. That's what we're looking for. Oh, that's the Fibonacci. Let me take that out. All right. So again, we have another one here red, orange, blue. And it looks like it's safe to say once the orange, the red turns, get out. Yeah. It's hard to know, but if, if if the orange, maybe, hold on, might be better. Yeah, see, if the orange touches the red, that's a time to get out. Orange, yeah, it looks like if they cross, that, that's a time to get out. So what I'm saying, when the orange and the red cross, again, uh, red being the three, I hear the red being the three, orange being... Uh, the eight and then that's what I'm referring to so if they cross or touch each other that might be the time to get out okay so that's looking over the last I'm gonna say month or so for Euro Australia now I'm still gonna potentially use the combination of the bid ask um, that I've gone over for a long time so here again, I'm only going to use uh, hourly data. I don't want to look at minute, five minute, 15 minute. I think hourly is good. This one's pretty volatile, as you can see here. Uh, I, I've never liked this, but there are trending opportunities here on the bid and ask with the order book, if you know what I'm speaking about. So let me just uh, apply the studies or the technical indicators. So. Again, we're looking for the SMA, uh, SMA, simple moving average. So the first one, we, we're going to use period, period of three bars. And we'll make that orange, oh, sorry, red, create, do another one of uh, SMA. Um, so that one's going to be eight. So make that orange, I guess. And then uh, let's choose a better color. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the orange, I guess. And that's eight. And then we'll do one more of the 13. So apparently this can be used on any time frame. So let's say of 13, and this is the color blue. All right, so here we go. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so we are September 17th. So right here, red, orange, blue. Again, that's red being SMA3, orange being uh, SMA 8, 13, or the blue of SMA 13. Okay, so we have right here, that seems to work, 8. Yep, so those orders again work orange, sorry, red, orange, blue. Across right here, and then we do get a, a whipsaw. So let us continue. See here, red, orange, blue. So there'll be a slight move up here. It's right here, red, orange, blue. And they're crossing 
to see if I can see it. Um, so you got red, orange, blue. Yeah, about right there. I'll, I'll get out at that point. All right, let's see if there's anything else here again. We have a nice run up here. Red, orange, blue. As soon as that red and orange come together, yep. Right in there, you can see it's touching or crossing or consolidating between the orange and blue. So again, we have here red, orange, blue. Uh, where does it form? Well, think about here. And then red, orange, see, but there's a problem. You're going to get these massive uh, whip saws. Um, so it won't get, because the moves are so high uh, in this instance, and this is still early data here, it's safe to say that um, it won't get out until the second bar here. Um, here it's okay. Here it's a little, it's not too bad. They're getting out. Let's see here. This is very promising from what I see. So we got red, orange, blue. So it's maintaining that order. So it'll start here. It's still, it looks like it's still maintaining that order. And it will get out right there. Beautiful. This looks good. So it'll avoid a lot of these bad, bad, bad whipsaws. So here, another red, orange, blue. So it'll get out right there on that, just in the uh, set before the second bar whipsaw, ne negative whipsaw forms. Okay, this is cool. So here, Red, oh, let me see, here we go. Red, orange, blue. Uh, I don't know if that would, I don't think that would form until probably here at this level. And then I'll get out just about there. So it looks like it kind of may work. See, it's gonna maintain its order here, red orange blue and just about here so it will as it consolidates right here um so we got red that won't form anything here red so i guess it won't form till here till this big move because that was in an hour and then it will get out up around here so it's going to it's gonna this could work red orange blue right here and where's it touch right here so it's gonna only catch maybe half on the second bar and that's probably yeah that's not too bad okay so let's go with the British uh, pound British against the uh, CHF All right, so let's do some more studies here on the SMAs. So we got SMA three, do the red, okay. Do another two more. Red, orange, SMA, simple moving average, orange. Here, so we want this guy, and then we shall do um, one more SMA uh, study, add study, SMA, and then that will be 13, I believe. Okay, so that would be blue. All right, so that's the simple red, orange, blue combos right here. 
so I guess it won't get out to here. Uh, red, see here, hold on. It's got three, eight. Oh, we gotta edit this one. Eight. So that would help, wouldn't it? Okay, let's go back to the most recent. So we have here an opportunity, red, orange, blue. So we were in that current run up there, uh, red, orange. So it will get out in somewhere in around here. Um, if the red and orange touch as before, so we have another one here, red, orange, blue. So I'll get out in around there. So again, red, orange, blue. Okay, so we got red, orange, blue, right in and around, somewhere around there. Gets out here. I'd say it's pretty good. Here's a big move. So it'll be somewhere in around here and get out in there. Nice. So that'll be a good one. Now here, this order doesn't exist. So this, this is like a, a false breakout. So it'll confirm that. That's good. Red, orange, blue. So this will work. Red, orange, blue. And there's a cross there between the red and orange. Gets out there. I'm liking what I'm... So we have here red, orange, blue. So it'll be here and to there. So here in this order, it's a, it, it confirms actually that... He, in here we have red, blue, orange, so that, that that entry will not take place. But once it forms in the what we want, red, orange, blue, uh, right about here, uh, that's an entry. Red, orange, blue, so in around here, gets out before that big whipsaw. Nice. So all these orders will not happen because it's blue, orange, red. They're reversed. We don't want that. Here's a slight move up here, red, orange, blue. So I'll have a move and I'll just get out. This looks like it works. Red, orange, blue. So it'll be right here, the entry, and then the exit just up here. Okay, so I'm pretty content that that should work. Okay, we'll do one more, a couple more. So we have red, orange, blue here. So here, well, no, see, see this, I like this because it's, it's, it's not in the, it is in the order we want, um, but I don't know if the, my system would pick up that trade, pick up here, get out there, let's see here, so we got red, orange, blue, somewhere in around here, gets out a little, somewhere up there, so this, Looks like and that goes all the way back to July. Okay, that is very cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick now again these these pairs I've picked off are the ones that have been pretty pretty active on the order book that meet the where there's more bids than asks or sorry there's more asks than bids so that these have been the consistent ones over the last couple of uh, weeks. So I'm going to use some other ones that I've seen that have worked in the past, but no longer work. So one of those was, uh, was I think it was USD Canadian, which was a typical, uh, um, the typical pattern for uh, oil trade. So let's see one hour, which will include when the attack was on the uh, uh, Saudi, which will boost the price of oil like uh, 10 20 percent see if this pattern can be applied here in this type of trade so if I go um, where am I where am I study so we got to do this each time I, I'm sure there's a way to quickly copy this SMA uh, so again red on the three Okay, so we got that. Um, same thing, SMA, and we want the eight. And that was to be red. 
no, orange, sorry. And then the 13 uh, for uh, blue. Uh, SMA. Uh, cancel. SMA. SMA and 13. And that is to be blue. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So we have uh, September 12th, red, orange, blue, right around here. So this move, so yeah, it was yesterday, no, on the 15th, that big move, I believe, was Sunday, because today's Tuesday. Let's see if that's, uh, I believe so. Yeah, Tuesday, 16, so that price would have happened starting on the 15th. So let's check it out. So we have here a, 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 a run-up on the 11th, red, orange, blue, gets out there. Um, we have another one here, red, well, maybe here, red, orange, gets out there. I think there's some crosses here. So here for sure. And they get out just about there. So that's not too bad. So that's on the 13th. So the price, so we got red, blue, orange. So that's a breakdown. That will not be valid. This one, red, Orange, so it'll be about here, gets out here. Okay, so there is some opportunity there. There's another one on the August. Yeah, you know this, thinking about it on, on when I saw this last was about late August. So we had red, orange, blue up until here. And that was the last time. Uh, see this I don't think this will work maybe here so this will work but you also have to layer in as a thought the um, the 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 bid versus ask on the pricing so you got red orange blue so here right here gets out there so I bet you at this point we would have had more asks than bids on the order book for the US CAD. So the opportunities are not as much as these uh, other ones that I mentioned before. So this one doesn't happen as much. Yeah, here, let me just uh, close that. Yes. All right, so we know that. Um, what are our other ones? I think there was USD in New Zealand was another one. So USD New Zealand, oops, so USD NZD, nope, okay, so we want USD ND, USD, It looks like that does not exist. So maybe it was the reverse. New Zealand against the US dollar. Uh, yeah. Okay. So hourly move. Let's see how this has been performing. So the time frame when this happened, yeah, it was exactly uh, early between September 3rd and 6th for the New Zealand against the US dollar. So if I apply that, we're still on the hourly data. So in around here, I bet you, you will you will see again on the order book where there's more asks than bids. So if I was to apply our SMAs, the three SMAs on this, let's see if it picks it up. So again, we have our SMA of three bars uh, three bars, red, 
All right. Our second one. Now, funny enough that I'm not using Fibonacci here. Uh, SMA of eight. I'm gonna make that orange as well. Orange, and then we'll do our 13. SMA 13 bars, which will be blue. Okay. So that will be blue. All right. So, uh, okay. So right now we see opportunity forming here on the 17th where we have red, orange, blue. Somewhere in here there would be a potential entry, 11 uh, a.m. Uh, on the mention time around September 3rd. Uh, September 3rd, we have a red, orange, blue order. Breaks down about here, so that works. Opens up again on the 4th at 3 a.m. Red, orange, blue, and then it breaks down here, and then it does the same here. Goes up to yeah, about there. Again, another on the 6th, or red, orange, blue, breaks down and there is no more after that but we have it what appears to be forming just in the last uh, day so this is an interesting pattern that we can use so I'm looking for any other patterns yeah so we're going all the way back to July I've, I've only been tracking this since around sometime in August but this seems to be valid um, I'm trying to think of any other ones. Uh, okay, let's let's do some big ones. I'm gonna do some big ones like uh, euro against U.S. dollar, pound against U.S. dollar, and uh, U.S. against the Japanese yen. Let's let's see how those work. They they don't usually move that much. So if I use euro against US dollar okay let's do our three guys again SMA so we're doing US euro against US dollar so we're doing three SMA red create Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we're going to do our SMA of eight bars. Eight. Be orange. Okay, and now we're going to do our final one of 13. 13. So, I don't want a Fibonacci. Okay, um, so we have here red in or out here on the 12th. Looks like we have it just forming again red, orange, blue. Uh, it's nowhere close to touching. Let's see here we got red, orange, blue. Yeah, right here. Get out there. Uh, red, orange, blue. In right here. Definitely get out. Uh, where would it be? Uh, just around here, about halfway through this big down negative move. Maybe here it might form. So get out about there. So this might work for even the big, big pairs that aren't even on the bid and ask. So we have red, orange, blue. It'll open up around here. Gets in and around there. Here's another one, red, orange, blue. Uh, that might work. 
a little formation here. Hmm. See, so one thing I like about it is that you have red, orange, red, orange, blue. So I'm not sure what that would form. I guess right here. And it would dump it right here. So again, red. So right here. This looks like it might be a false one, obviously. Uh, so red, orange, blue, and that's on August 5th to here. I gotta say I like what I see here. So let me try another one. Um, so we're gonna do British pound against the U.S. dollar. GBP against the U.S. dollar. All right, hold on here. Pound against the dollar. Setting up those, and I'm sure there's a way to. To, to set this up SMA to duplicate these three SMA patterns or indicators or studies as defined in the world of MotoWave okay let's do another one SMA um, 8 so we'll do one more pair after this, orange and blue, SMA, SMA 13, and then that will be blue. All right, so you can see here we have a formation here on the 13th. I guess that's after this big dip, so we had this sudden run up. Yeah, it breaks down about here. We have another one that just formed. Red, orange, blue. And let's see, we have another one here. Uh, formed right here, red, orange, blue. Gets out about here. And again, when I say get out, it's when the red and the orange touch each other. So we have another run up here, red, orange, blue. Gets out there. Okay. There's another one on the August 22nd. Red, orange, blue. Get out here. That's a nice one. And we got another one here as well. Red, orange, blue. Get out up there. Uh, geez, this one won't form until about here. Uh, and then I'll get out there. That's a small one. So one thing I like about this is um, we have an entry somewhere in here. Get out there. But when you look at uh, false breakouts, this will handle it. Why? Because we, we have the reverse of what we want of the blue, orange, red, that's not going to happen. Even though we have a slight move up, this will not, this will work here because we have red, orange, blue here. Um, but you think we have here an opportunity as well. So we have red, uh, where it's not in, in, in reverse order of red, orange, a red, oh, sorry, blue, orange, red is not, that's not what we want. So it will take care of what you may think that this would be a reversal, even though it's not. But it comes back to what I talked about before of these long wicks right here. So this combination of these, here's another one, red, orange, blue. So that looks like it works. Doesn't re regardless of um, volume or bid and ask, Let's try, what was it, the USD, I'll try both these combos. It's a Japanese yen. I guess there's no such thing. G 
JPY. There we go. So it's USD, Japan, Yen. So let's maybe add these studies here. SMA3. Okay, red. Uh, we'll do two more of these uh, pairs. SMA8. 8 orange create one more SMA 13 okay oh we want that to be blue all right so here this may work gets out here red orange blue here perfect and then get out just about there and there when these cross or touch okay so we have we've got this red orange blue um red yes yeah, so we have red orange blue somewhere maybe down here right here i'll dump it Red, orange, blue. So about here, and dump it here. So we have red, orange, blue. Red, orange, blue, dump here. Yeah, it'll, it'll be about here. Or where they touch, but here I guess it's very cool. Red, orange, blue, in around here. A big, massive move up on August thirteenth and dumps it just right there. So it does seems to take out a lot of these small little downside whipsaws. I'm impressed. All right. And one more. So we're doing the reverse of Japan US dollar. Uppercase, please. JPY USD. Does not exist. Is that true? Japanese yen. Guess not. Well, I think we may have found a winner. So I must say I'm pretty pretty content about that. Um, Fibonacci's don't look like they're needed. Nor would you need the bid and ask as well. I thought I put that out there and talk to you later. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think on all the social media comments. Later.